Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 uh, doing 1-1 one -one in the replay story for the any percent with studs route. So this is going to be basically the basic level for completing 1-1 one -one with not really anything fancy added on top of it. I will be using both characters because that does save a bit of time but I'm going to first show uh, each character doing each section individually and then combine them together to show you what a more optimal run will look like. So we'll go into the level now and to start off with, skip the cutscene obviously, so to start off with we spawn with Harry on P1, the input display for that controller is on the left and Hagrid P2, the input display for that controller is on the right. First thing we're going to do is with Harry we are going to walk onto this set of bricks here and just stand on them and then Hagrid will walk over and lift Harry up. Harry will then be able to jump off that platform and Hagrid can let go of lifting up that platform. Harry will then go up here, pick up the uh, door handle and place it in the door here. You want to run up to this door and place it because that gives you a faster animation for placing the door handle down. Once that's done Hagrid will walk over here and use magic on the door handle and then either character can walk straight through the door. In this room I immediately start holding B with Hagrid and holding B with Hagrid what that does is that means immediately the moment I'm able to build I can build with Hagrid which is very useful. So now we're going to make our way across uh, Diagon Alley. Uh, Hagrid I want to be on the right hand or on the left hand side of the two and I want Harry on the right hand side of the two and then nice and simple you just hold forwards with both of them. This is the only bit of 1P2C uh, in this level where you need to use both characters at the same time. And then we'll stop about here. So we've got to build this potion to be able to break the barrier that's in front of us to get into Gringotts. The route we're going to do with Hagrid is Hagrid will pick up the spider use magic on this ice cream cart to reveal the lolly, pick up the lolly, and then put them both in the cauldron. You can only pick up one item at a time, so we go to the cauldron while the animation for the ice cream truck is resolving itself. And then with Harry, it's much simpler. We just pick up the flower and go straight here to put that in. And then Hagrid makes his way up to Gringotts. And again, either Hagrid or Harry can enter this door. Uh, and in this room, again, we have some uh, movement with both characters. Basically, you have to hold upright. And holding upright with both characters means you can put Harry on this spot here. And you want Hagrid by the gate here. And then you press B to activate the spot with Harry. And it goes into a short cutscene. Immediately after the cutscene... Harry is switched to Grip Hook. So now I'm in control of Grip Hook rather than in control of Harry, and that's a lot more useful. With Grip Hook, we're going to make our way over to here and immediately press B on this to open the gate. And then with Hagrid, we are going to walk over and press B on the strength handle to be able to pull the uh, gate open. Then again with Grip Hook, we're going to go forwards to here and open this vault. And then we need Hagrid forwards again because Hagrid is the only one that can uh, build this painting. Now here, either Grip Hook or Hagrid can activate this painting. It doesn't matter who. I'm going to go for Grip Hook here. And then in the replay story category here, or in any category where you don't have to worry about getting zero studs, you want to do some character manipulation. So I want to switch it so that Hagrid's on player one and Grip Hook's on player two. So I'm going to press switch once, press the Y button once with player 2, once with player 1, and then once again with player 2. And you could do that while the um, painting is resolving itself. And then from there, you can walk into the door and again, skip this cutscene if you're playing on no cut or a replay story. And what this does is this spawns Hagrid further to the left, which is more useful in this room. So now with Hagrid to the left, he's going to go to the left. And he's going to pull this strength handle here. And Grip Hook will then come over and do the same thing. 
to open the vault. Uh, you can switch back to Harry here with either character, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, you want to go through the door here and again either watch or skip the cutscene. And then very simple movement to end it off. Whichever character spawns on the right hand side. It's important to keep track of your characters here. But whichever character spawns here, you want to move with that character. And quite simple, you just want to go down here and in the door where the arrow is pointing. And that's the end of the level. Now I'm going to go over that again and do a faster version of those strategies. So if we go back into the level, this time I'm going to do it. So I'm going to move both characters at the same time and show you what a more optimal level will look like. So going in here, moving both characters at the same time over to the platform, then lifting the platform. Harry can then jump off the platform a little bit earlier. And then he picks this up and then Hagrid opens the door, but I'm going to be pressing the roll button with Harry. And pressing the roll button with Harry uh, allows you to enter the door just a couple of frames faster. While I'm building that with Hagrid, I'm going to be using, or I'm going to be pushing Hagrid closer to the wall with Harry, which saves a bit of time there. And then we make our way through here. And this is probably the most difficult one for you to see at a section, opening this cauldron. Because you've got to keep track of both players at the same time. But that's the exact same movements as I did um, earlier. When I first went through the level. But of course I'm doing them both at the same time. And again, rolling with Harry to get through the door. As we now go over here. Once again, I'm moving both characters at the same time. And then just when we get to this point. Moving Hagrid over there. And Hagrid stays in that position. Uh, and again here as well, I'll actually be moving both characters at the same time. So once this gate's fully open, Grip Hook is able to move again. And that means we can actually make it to here before the opening of the next gate. And then again, moving Hagrid after the strength handle is complete. Saves a bit of time there. And then I was spamming the wave button with both characters. Uh, just to make sure you kind of get the wave as quickly as possible. Then doing the character swap and again attacking with grip hook to be able to roll through. Moving both characters at the same time here as well. Doing a small little roll with grip hook there to make sure I am in the right position. And actually entering this door with Harry because Harry has a smaller hitbox so it makes it a bit easier. And then exiting the level. And there we go, that is my tutorial for 1-1 using the replay story or the any percent with studs route. Thank you for watching.